The 2024 Monster Energy FM Motocross World Championship will visit four regions and more than a dozen countries during a seven-month, 18-round tour. The series starts in March with a visit to South America and the Villa La Angostura in Argentina. The remainder of spring and early part of summer will be spent in Europe, racing on everything from the sands of Riola Sardo on the island of Sardegna, the rocky mountain dirt of Pietra Murata in Trentino, the red clay of Agueda in Portugal, a man-made course at Intuzanadu in Spain, the hard pack of Saint Jean d'Angeli in France, the ruts of Teutschenthal in Germany, a different sort of sand at Kegums in Latvia, and then the historic and steep hills of Maggiore in Italy. This nine-race run is packed into 15 weekends. Defending 2023 MXGP World Champion Jorge Prado has taken an unconventional yet effective approach to his off-season, focusing on the U.S.-based Supercross series before returning to Europe to fine-tune his MXGP setup. After successfully competing in four stateside races, Jorge's attention is now fully on MXGP 2024, with a comprehensive bike testing schedule as well as a planned race before the season opener in Argentina on March 10th. Better still, Jorge's peak fitness and fired-up attitude signal that the reigning world champ is all set to pick up from where he left off in 2023. My biggest regret, we might not see the best of Jorge Prado in MXGP, and those across the Atlantic will be all the richer for seeing him, when he does rich his peak. Still, he has that 240 days to show us he is the best in Europe with Hurlings and Geyser at full fitness. We got a glimpse in 2023, but let's see these three fight out this year's title. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Tim Geyser is ready to regain the world title he lost last year. Like many other MXGP pilots, the Slovenian is in the final stages of his season preparation, with a view to competing in the MXGP Motocross World Championship starting on March 10th. His victory in the final race of the 2023 season gave him motivation and self-confidence. After suffering an injury before the start of the 2023 season, Geidzer returned only halfway through the season and has since made only two podium finishes. But here, it will always be at the top. It looks like the HRC driver is very familiar with his new working equipment and able to win twice in a very young season on the new Honda, Geidzer won races. International Italian Motocross Championship in Riola Sardo and Mantova. The latest test in Sardinia has shown that Honda engineers have developed a great bike, and the 27-year-old is looking forward to the start of the season. Interestingly, Gajser is following the same guidelines as Kawasaki newcomer Jeremy Sewer. Gajser has also stressed that it is not necessary to be 100% fit at the start of the season. For Gajser, it is important not to arrive at the first GP too tired. After a long preparation, 20 upcoming events will be announced. It is important to maintain a high level of performance throughout the season in order to be successful at the end. It will remain exciting to see how Tim Geyser will fare at the start of the World Championship in Argentina and whether he will be able to bring the title back to Honda. This week, KTM released the footage from the 2024 team photo shoot. The Bullet Hurlings was also there. After winning the title in 2021, the KTM rider was unable to complete a season without injury, and so the question arises, is Jeffrey Hurlings fit again? It is to be hoped that the fastest MX rider in the world can build on his successes from 2021, but the reality has looked completely different since 2022. At the KTM photo shoot, he appeared combative and surprised everyone with a statement. When asked if it would be a mistake for his competitors to count on him, it was noticeable that Hurling shared little of his preseason preparation on social media, which sparked rumors that the injury kept him out of action for longer than usual. In addition, Red Bull KTM Factory Racing Team is the KTM team trying to avert any danger from their MXGP rider in order to get him safely to the starting gate in Argentina. And so Hurlings will not, like other MXGP pilots, compete in several races in preparation for the MXGP season that starts on March 10th. Hurlings only start traditional event in Hawkstone Park 2024 and finish position second overall. The Dutchman still has a contract for 2024 and 2025, and there are obviously no alternatives for KTM. Nevertheless, it cannot be KTM's declared goal to rely on a rider who is fast, but also often injured. 
It remains to be seen whether the bullet can enter the 2024 season fully recovered and completed unscathed, in order to be able to build on successful times. What do you think? Will KTM hold on to the man with 84, even if he gets injured again? Fantic presented some novelties for 2024, relying on three structures with deep experience. It will participate in three classes. After its debut in 2022, Fantic returns to line up in grand style at the starting gate of the MXGP World Championship. In fact, for 2024, Fantic will participate in the premier class of motocross by entrusting the Fantic Factory Racing MXGP team to the experience of Louis Voster's Dutch structure, a protagonist in the World Motocross Championship in recent years. The riders who will bring the Fantic XXF450 to the race, under the guidance of team manager Vitali Tonkov, will be the outstanding Glenn Koldenhoff and the rookie Rowan van de Moosjik. The Dutchman was consistent enough to take the overall in the 25th edition of the International of Hawkstone Park. Romain Fevre and Jeffrey Hurlings shared the wins, but it was Glenn Koldenhoff who topped the podium via 2-2, his first as a Wilvo Fantic rider. The Kawasaki team performed impressively in the preparation race for the Sommiers International last weekend, and their title ambitions have now increased significantly. The event provided an ideal opportunity for both riders and the entire KRT team to prepare for the upcoming FIM World MXGP Championship in good weather and real racing conditions. Jeremy Sewer and teammate Romain Fevre dominated the MX1 class. Sewer won both motos ahead of Fevre, while Fevre won the super finale ahead of Sewer. These victories were Sewer's first in Kawasaki colors, a promising sign for the upcoming MXGP season. What was particularly notable was Sewer's ability to assert himself against his teammate. Nevertheless, Fevre once again demonstrated his speed and endurance as he did last week in Italy, confirming his position as one of the title contenders in the World Championships, starting on March 10th. The fact that the second and third place finishers in the 2023 MXGP season are now riding in the same team is likely to cause headaches for the competition. Seawer seems to be getting better and better with the Kawasaki and poses an additional threat to his opponents. With their impressive performance at the Sommiers International, Seawer and Fevre showed that they are ready to fight for the top in the upcoming MXGP season. The fact that Calvin Vlanderen has left the privately run Yamaha satellite team Geben van Van Braai is no longer news. The fact that he received a factory contract with the Blues due to his strong performances in 2022 and 2023 is also not true. But what is actually exciting are the ambitions with which the 27-year-old Dutchman wants to start the season. But a quick step back. Yamaha is not the first factory team for Vlaanderen, as he already drove for HRC as a 250c rider in 2018-19. At the age of 23, he was forced to move up by the regulations. However, the places at HRC MXGP were filled with Tim Geyser and Brian Bogers, and he found a ride with Geben van van Rooy. Getting started wasn't easy for the South African native. It was too difficult for him to switch to the big bike. What followed was a classic rookie season with more downs than ups. He has now settled in and the results are good, consistent, and ultimately worth P6 in the overall ranking. But now back to the present, with a look to the future. The young man recently caused mixed feelings and assessments with a statement. However, the dog is right there, a little buried, if you win, then on clay. Looking ahead to the coming season, just 3 out of 20 GPs are the favorite course. The chances of success are significantly lower on hard or mixed surfaces, if it hadn't been for the race victory on the hardest board on the calendar. In an impressive manner, CV10 passed opponents such as Sewer, Prado, and Febvre in the second race of Loquette. By the way, this was the only race win of the entire season on a private bike. The remaining 37 race winners all had factory bikes. What do you all mean? Are the ambitions too high or does Calvin Vlanderen, with a bike of the highest quality and perfect structure in the background, have the necessary skills to be at the top in the end? The 2024 MXGP season starts in Villa La Angostura, Argentina, in 10 Mar. Be there live when Calvin Vlanderen competes in his first race as a Yamaha factory pilot.